So, I have never met a rescue dog that I didn't like. When you think about it, no, those dogs innately know that you saved their life, and they show gratitude. I, they can't talk, but you can still tell. Look I, in their I, eyes. I wonder if Boo could talk if he even would. <laughs> Your big old handsome lad there, he'd probably just he'd probably be one of those. I. That'd be about all you get out of. I. I. You need to go outside and poop. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess. Yeah, he probably wouldn't say much. He'd just want to kind of lay now, there and now be petted. Dino Balls Hall, on the other hand, you couldn't shut him up. No. He'd be speed rapping. All the time. All the time. Like a little kid. Now, my dog, which can talk, um, she knows how to say, I love you now. Uh -huh. Because that's the only way she's allowed to get on the couch with Daddy to lay out and watch the Professional Golfers Association. Oh, and wrestling. And wrestling, yeah. I look well, at her and I say, I love you. And she goes, oh, okay, come on. And she hops up there. Yeah. And we, have a, we get in a pile and it's a big old time. There's never, it's a never ending source of uh, joy and uh, comfort to have. I, mean, I I get home and there's cats flying through the air and dogs licking my ankles. And I, you know, it's, yeah. I, I, I love there's it. nothing like being inspected when you get back <laughs> from being somewhere else by a basset hound. Because her sense of smell is so acute that she knows that I've been over to my mom's house and seen my mom's uh, one-eyed golden retriever rescue dog. And so we decided to get them together for a play date because I figured they had smelled each other enough on me that uh, they would get along. And they got along famously. They were out in the backyard rolling around and playing and jumping. Yeah, every and dog big has. Time. They all got that sense of smell. And this little guy is, he's five pounds and he comes about to my ankle. So he's down there near feet. Mm -hmm. And he's all over. He just, he sniffs every part of your lower being. Yeah. He wants to know where you've been and who you've been around. Which is better than having a crotch hound. And we've yeah, all had friends yeah. that have had that. Well, Boo tends to put his uh, muzzle up in your sack. I think it's just comfortable for him. He likes a nice, warm, soft place. <laughs> then again, who doesn't? And don't even get us started on those bears from Croatia. Oh, listen. One of them's happy, one of them's gay, but doesn't matter. 